The last tab that we'll look at is the Settings tab. Now, we've gone back and forth in this tab uh, configuring the other sections of this training, but let's just take a look at it. Let's see an overview of what is actually contained in this area. If we look at it on the device, we can go ahead and click on Settings, and you can see that it's broken down under different sections. It's broken down under uh, Email, or Accounts, Mail, Calendar, Contacts, and more. And that's very self-explanatory. If you want to create a configuration or change something under Mail, go to the Mail section, Calendar, Contacts, etc. Uh, but one thing that might not be as self-explanatory is the Support tab. So under More, if you click on Support, you can send logs. And this is great if you have a support ticket open or if you're troubleshooting an issue, you can go ahead and send this out. So if I click on Send Logs, it's going to create an email, and then I'll just populate the email address. One more item is the ability to see the build version of the app under the About tab. So if I click on About, I can see the build version as well. But that's sent in the labs also, and the logs also. Sending an out of office email is imperative if you are taking leave or if you're going to be away from your email for an extended amount of time, as we all know. So we can send an out of office configured in this application that will then report to your email server. So uh, all your other devices will pull this out of office message as well. But I can do it from the convenience of my mobile device. If I forgot to say on my day off or if I'm uh, away from my desk in the airport about to hop on a plane, I can do that very quickly from the app itself. Uh, if I go to the device here, I can go to settings and then I can go under the out of office uh, option under my account, out of office, turn on, as simple as that. Now I can copy and paste or I can create a new out of office message here for internal or external recipients. So I can turn on reply for external senders and then I can send reply for a specific amount of time from and then an end date as well. So it'll go off automatically. Set the initial view is for iOS only. This allows you to define a default start page in the Boxer application. So what if I routine, routinely check my calendar events a lot? I want to start there every morning. I can set that as a default page. It doesn't have to take me to my email first or contacts first. So you can define which tab you start on. So we can do that easily on the device by going to the Settings tab. Under Settings, if we go to Advanced, and then Initial View, instead of it initially showing my inbox, I can have it show the calendar. We do have a second layer of authentication built into the Boxer application. We can use biometrics. So if you're using Face ID or Touch ID on an iOS device, or if you're using uh, the fingerprint authentication on an Android device, uh, you can use that inside of Boxer. So we're basically taking that authentication method and allowing you to securely access the application. Uh, you do have to have a passcode set up initially to have this feature turned on, but it's a very convenient way to get in securely to your uh, access, your calendar or contacts or email. There is a default web browser set in the Boxer application and that could be your company's uh, browser, that could be your VMware browser, um, or that could be a personal browser on the device. You can change the default browser in the settings. If we go to Settings here, and we go to Advanced, we can click on Default Browser. And right now we have Workspace ONE, web as our browser. That's the default browser, but I can change that to a different browser on the device, or maybe you have a company browser that you prefer. We can add and manage email accounts directly within the Boxer app. So what if you have a corporate email account, but you also have a personal email account, or you have a secondary email account or a separate domain that you would like to add to the application? We can do so. It's very easy to have all your information in one location, especially if you have one device, you don't have a separate uh, personal or work device, you can add these two accounts in one secure uh, application. Let's do that now. Let's take a look at it on the device. If we go to settings, uh, you can see under accounts, I have a work account already. I can go to add account 
And uh, let's just pretend like we're adding a second account here. And you can see that there's multiple accounts. This supports all major uh, email accounts, Exchange, Gmail, Yahoo, iCloud, Outlook, et cetera. You could add your own custom Exchange account as well under other. Uh, so you could just go ahead and click OK. You can choose authentication, and then you would have multiple accounts that will show up under uh, the same application. You can add a custom mailbox that allows you to populate messages, cross accounts into a single box. And this is a great time saver. It takes the information you want to see very quickly and puts it in one location in the same app. Let's take a look at it on the device itself. So under the Mail tab, we can click on Edit. And then we can click on Create a Custom Mailbox. Now we need to give it a name. And then we can select which mailboxes that should uh, that should go to this custom box. Now I could uh, select mailboxes that are cross account. So if I had a second account on here, I could select the inbox from one account and I could merge that with say like the to do box from another account. And that would create a custom mailbox named important. Uh, and again, I would see this information in one location, and maybe this could be uh, three different accounts you have on, the, on your device, but you want to see it in one custom box. Use haptic touch options for Workspace One Boxer. So if you want to quickly compose an email or a calendar invite, you don't even have to open the application. Just do a long press on the icon, and it will open a secondary or quick menu, and you can quickly compose an email or calendar event. On the device, I'll hold my finger down and do a long press here. And then you can see that I can create a new event. I can create a new email. And it, of course, depends on what platform you're on uh, for what options come up here. But let me just click on new email. It immediately opens up the application for me, opens the email message, and all I have to do is define the contents. So very simple, very quick. Thank you so much for watching. This concludes this module on VMware Workspace One Boxer. You should now be proficient in using the application, and I'm sure it will help you throughout your current workflow.